The following portion of Daytime Blue Ridge is sponsored by... There is always a great show to see at the Harvester Performance Center in Rocky Mount. Joining me to talk about a few of the upcoming shows that you can catch, we have Matt Hankins, the CEO. Thanks so much for coming on. Good morning. Glad to be back. I can't believe we're already talking about January. We, we were already you know, looking at shows out into April and, and oh May. Oh my gosh, uh, that's so crazy. You guys is. planned pretty far ahead. And we're not joking. There is always a great show to catch at the Harvester. Um, coming up January 10th, Ricky Skaggs. Yeah, uh, he's uh, been at our place. I think this is his uh, third or fourth time. Wow. Uh, sells out when he comes. Uh, we don't have a lot of tickets left. So if, if, uh, if you want to see him, he was just inducted into the Country Music Hall of Fame and the uh, International Bluegrass Music Hall of Fame. Uh, and really got to play, he got to play Bill Monroe's mandolin as part of that celebration. That was, uh, wow. that was pretty outstanding. It says so much about the venue that he's been there for three or four times. Yeah, and when he's there, he comes, he walks around town, he goes shopping, he you know takes pictures while he's around town, makes himself at home. Yeah. Really nice guy. And then you guys have the Clark family? Yeah, uh, they are uh, uh, from Franklin County, um, but uh, at least three of the members of the, the family have gone and toured with uh, Carrie Underwood and some of the, the major wow. uh, players in country music. Uh, they, they uh, three of the brothers won the Fox program, uh, the Next Great American Band, uh, and then uh, recorded as Sons of Sylvia. Uh, so now they're just all coming home and they're doing a sort of a homegrown Franklin County show. Uh, it's uh, going to be uh, country oriented, uh, yeah. but it's kind of a cool thing. That's really cool. They're coming back. I like yeah. that. And that one's happening January 12th. And then you guys have Abbey Road Live on the 17th. Yeah, they are. Uh, they come to our place a couple of times a year. Uh, they're doing the 50th anniversary of the White Album. They're one of the best Beatles tribute bands out there. Yeah. Uh, they faithfully recreate the, the music and the songs, and it sounds really fantastic. And folks always have a good time. Okay, and then Crash Test Dummies. I was, I was excited to see that. Yeah, uh, they're a Canadian band. They, they hit it... Uh, Hit it big uh, back uh, when I was in college. Uh, it's been a while. It's the 25th anniversary of their, their biggest uh, album. Okay. Uh, so they're going to come and, and celebrate with us in January. And then another local one, Adam Rutledge, is coming. Yeah, and, and we love giving local artists the opportunity to come and play at our place. Uh, we we yeah. always encourage you. Yeah, we, we have shows at every price point. You know, some shows are you know, pretty inexpensive. Some shows, you know, because of what bands charge us, you know, are a little pricey. But uh, you know, we, we've got something for everybody. You know, regardless of what kind of music you like or, or what you are able to pay, you know, you'll find something at the Harvester. And all you have to do is go to our website, harvester-music.com, and you'll see everything that we've got for sale. It's so true. And then you guys have the Gatlin Brothers coming on the 26th. We do. Uh, the, uh, just country legends. They play Branson a lot. They play Pigeon Forge a lot. Mm -hmm. uh, they, they are uh, touring in 2019, and we're excited to have them. Uh, they, they had uh, so many big hits back in the 70s uh, and uh, 80s, and uh, yeah, they're, they're, they're all brothers, so it's, it's family harmonies. You know, you, it's hard not to be able to sing well together when you've been playing together that long. Right. Do you have any other ones that we should be looking out for? Yeah, uh, we just put on sale. This, uh, it's in pre-sale now. It goes on sale Friday. Uh, Tyler Childers, who is okay. one of the big names up and coming in country music. He's one of those people that's going to redefine the sound of country music for the next 25 years. Cool. And then uh, Aaron Lewis, who's the former lead singer of Stained. Uh, he's now a country cool. artist, and he's uh, coming to us on February 23rd. His tickets are on sale now. So Get uh, those early. Harvester-music.com. Really keep a look 